as you can see I have all kinds of videos on here I hope you like them find them informational enlightening and maybe entertaining please subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of these by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down thank you what do you do when you have a chrome toolbox out of your old truck and you've got a new truck and you want everything black well this is what we did what we're doing is sandblasting a toolbox we don't want a chrome one we're going to uh, paint this black to match everything else that's on the truck we were going to have it powder coated but that was 200 bucks so we're going to give this a try. We just got some regular silicone sand there. We got two bags. We don't think that'll be enough. So we'll find out. You can see the difference there between the undone and the sandblasting. Probably may not be necessary, but I'll guarantee you that paint will stick a lot better to sandblasted material than slick aluminum. Because once you sandblast something, it gives it all kinds of little edges you can rip onto with your paint. Uh, let's see what it looks like with a little more of it done. even kicked on yet the other one's been keeping up with it but I run them both they're both hooked into the same airlines so I don't have to overwork just one but we have uh, been keeping up with just a floor air compressor Well, as we found out, it takes a lot of sand to do this. You can see how far we got, and that was with one bag of sand. We're starting to catch the sand now. We're going to try to reuse it. It ain't going to hurt nothing. Another bag, we'll have that top done. And part of the side, because part of this side is done. We're not going to do the bottom part down there. I mean, we're going to paint it, but we're not going to sandblast it because it's going to be back behind the truck. Nobody will ever see it if the paint chips off. And that's why we're doing it. Give the paint a good grip. So if you bump it, it ain't going to chip off and you see the aluminum underneath it. Onward. Onward. The only problem with reusing that sand is you get a twig in it once in a while. So it did plug up now and then. But it's just sand. It ain't going to hurt nothing if you filter it a little better than we did. Before we started painting this, we rubbed the whole thing down with vinegar. Vinegar is a good way to etch in paint on aluminum, if you didn't know. So we blew it all off, vacuumed it all off, and then wiped it down with vinegar, and then started painting. Well, we've got a coat of paint on it. We're going with... Where are we going? It ain't gloss black. What is it? Satin. And uh, it ain't going to come off of there. We're just rattle canning it. So far it's only took two cans. Got a little touch ups to do as you can see right through there. We'll touch that up. Or it's either drying. I don't know which. Could be drying. Got to finish this back here. And let it dry. And we're going to bolt it in and call it done. But that's how you do it. We ended up using probably three and a half bags of sand so if you're going to buy sand you're going to do this you do it uh, get more sand than you think double the sand you think you're going to need you'll probably need it somewhere else let me show you the little uh... there's Hanks hi Hank this is all we use to sandblast a little craftsman small sandblaster it's worked for a lot of jobs for me 
But that's what we used, that's what we did.